<laughs> so the Maverick did get a chance to see the full story involving Justin Gatlin's inner circle, his former coach, Dennis Mitchell, and an agent named Roger Wagner, who they say was linked to Gatlin. Both men were caught on camera and talk up the things <laughs> about performance enhancing drugs in the sport, basically reinforcing how widespread drug use is in track and field, and that the users are always one step ahead of the testers. Wagner at one point said they're all taking stuff, even mentioning Gatlin, possibly taking stuff, <laughs> and one cocos bag of things. And you don't know, say, IWF and WADA, everybody want to grab Gatlin again. So here comes a big investigation. While Gatlin is denying taking any banned substances and is boasting of his five years of constant testing without failing a drug test. <laughs> but again, what the man them say is true. At least out there still a beat the system and still a take drugs. But as much as it hurts and it is embarrassing to WADA and the IWF, them cannot ban Gatlin or anybody else without them testing positive for banned substances. Them can embarrass and vex all them want. But if the mechanisms put in place to test athletes for prohibited substances cannot detect and prove the athlete's guilt, water and company are left between a rock and a hard place. Even in what this undercover story has uncovered, even if everything implied is true, Gatlin says he did not take anything and he may feel no drug test. How the devil are they going to punish him? So them can suspect and they can suspect strongly. Them can investigate. Them all can castigate. <laughs> but without a positive drug test, them have to just take what them said. <laughs>